Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some of your home climbing walls that you've built during the lockdown. Over the last few days, I've put a post out in a few different places asking you guys to send in some footage or uh, some pictures of the wall that you've built during lockdown. And to be honest, the response I've had has been pretty epic. I've literally received so many uh, unbelievable looking walls. To rate the walls that you guys have sent me, I've come up with a simple scoring system, rating the walls out of 10, uh, based on what I would like as the perfect home wall, if I had the ability to build such a thing. The maximum a wall can score is 10 out of 10, uh, and it's broken down into five smaller categories, and there are two points up for grabs per category. Category 1 is unique features, so we're looking for things that aren't really common or seen on most home walls. Number two is how well does it utilise the space available to it. Category three is the angles, so has it only got one overhanging angle, has it got a slab. Category four is aesthetic, so does it look pleasing, is it good to look at, has it got a good paint job. And then finally, category number five is probably the most important one for me, training, so does it have a training area, can you get some good training in on it, which is really the purpose of the home wall, as well as having fun of course. So before we jump into the first submission, I'll share my screen as we go through the walls. Can we please give the video a thumbs up to show your appreciation for the guys who've sent these walls in for me? And also subscribe down below to the channel if you are new, as it is much appreciated. And with that out of the way, let's share the screen, roll some footage and get on to the first wall. First home wall we're going to look at was sent in by a gent called Ben from Megalith Climbing. All of his details will be in the description down below if you want to check it out. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So we've got a nice little handboard there, a few small edges, and some hanging straps. Nice little wall, good variety of holes, nice symmetrical, which I like, always looks appealing. I like the simplistic paintwork as well, the green logo in the middle. And let's see what we want to do. So it's an indoor wall, so it's using the space pretty well. Uh, he's going to change things up a bit now by the looks of it. Let's have a look. Let's skip this in a little bit, see what's happening. Obviously, working his magic. Oh. oh wow, look at that. That is genius. I mean, in terms of using the space it's got, it couldn't really do any better than that, could it? Um, looks pretty secure as well. Got a metal frame around it. Oh, that one slides along the wall over the far side as well. Not too sure on the angle it's gone to. It looks pretty steep, but ideal for training on, really. Got some nice chunky pinches on there, a few smaller crimps. Yeah, it looks like a home wall you can definitely get strong. Oh, like the top of bar at the top, love that. Now with the first wall looking promising. So let's rate it on the scale of 10. Such a creative looking wall there from Ben, so we'll pull up the rating scale, see what we've scored out of 10. I feel like it's going to score quite high based on what I've just watched there. So first category kind of unique features, I mean, I've not seen anything like that before, so I mean that's easily going to score a full two. Uh, in terms of space, I mean, you couldn't really use the space any better than the way it has, so the game will have to go for another two. I mean, angles, I mean, it's got a mixture of angles on there just by adjusting the, uh, the system it's on. So yeah, another, another two points there. So six so far, so we're hitting top marks. Um, aesthetics, I do like the symmetry of the holes as well as the, uh, the handboard out front. Um, I also like the simplistic logo in the middle. I think for that one, I'm it's not the most colourful, so I'm going to give that a one and a half, so still a high score. Maybe a bit more colour would have been nice. Um, in terms of training, maybe the equipment he's got there, there's not really much you can't train, so again, it's, it's going to score another two. So, first wall, hitting a nine and a half out of ten. Crap and start, really. Thanks for sharing that, Ben. Hopefully, that gives people some ideas who are looking to build a home wall. I know if I had a technical ability, I'd love to do something like that, but absolutely no chance could I do that. Okay, so on to wall number two, which is sent in by a friend of mine, Carl Donnelly. Again, I'll link his details down below in the description. To be honest, I didn't even know Carl had a home board, so I'm disappointed you haven't told me I'd like to climb on this. If you're watching Carl, I expect my invite in the post. Once lockdown's finished, of course. 
Got a nice bench there, a few adjustable dumbbells. Get the weight training in. Got a boxing bag, punch bag. Uh, get the cardio work in there. Done a bit of boxing before, it's absolutely knackering. We've got the notorious handboard. Get the finger training in. Good job, Carl. Nice choice in handboard. And then far end of the garage, we've got a beauty looking wall there, big size, like the paintwork. Got a variety of holes as well. Got a nice big kickboard at the bottom, which I like. Apparently, Carl got this from the old climbing wall in Sunderland. So he's. Uh... Oh, look at that. Got a clip. Crack with your lead climbing there. That's different. I've seen one of them on a home wall before. Looks like we've got another one up to the far side as well. Set of rings, not much you can't do with them. Yeah, all in all, a sick looking board, really. Nice job on putting that together, Carl. I uh, appreciate you sending it in. It's all the time to rate it on the average athlete scale, we'll call it. Did like the clip that made it quite unique, so we'll give it a score of one for unique features. In terms of space, I've got quite a lot of space to work with there. It's like quite a high roof garage. Um, I mean, I think he's used it quite well. I mean, he's got quite a large board in there. So I think he's used the space pretty well. I mean, judging by the size of the garage, you might even have room for another wall if he does want to extend it. Angle, so for space, we'll give it a, a two because it's, it's used it well, but it's got a lot of room for development as well. Uh, angles, it is just the one angle, although I do like it that it's like a steep overhang angle. So we'll give it a, a one there. Nice looking wall, I like the artwork, so we'll give it a two. I'll be happy to look at that all day. And then in terms of training, I mean, it's got the bench, uh, the handboard, punch bag, the rings, especially, you can do a lot with rings. So it definitely scores top marks uh, for training, so I'll give it a two. I'll give it one an eight out of 10, so get a nice score there. Job done, Carl, again, thank you for sending it in. Hopefully we'll be seeing you soon, mate, when the wall reopens. It's been a while since I've seen your beautiful face. So the next one was sent in by a guy from the US of A called Thomas Thomas Spackow. I do apologise, Thomas, if I've said that wrong. Please do correct me in the comments. Uh, but Thomas actually sent him audio with his video, so I'll let him talk us through it, and then we'll rate it out of 10 uh, at the end. Hey, everybody. My name's Tom. So I built this 40-degree board the end of 2020. I live in northern Indiana, and there's not a lot of gyms here. But this is out in my detached garage. A lot of these holds are, are from my previous home wall I had, and then a friend of mine also contributed. Um, but yeah, brand names wise, we got Metolius, we got Gropers, we got Atomic, we got So Ill. I love variety, so it's good. And there's a lot of hard holds, but there's a lot of jugs on this wall too, because I need to warm up. I also have a little workout station over here. I got rings, a pull up bar, my hang board, and stuff. Got the clock. So, um, yeah, that's that's the wall in a nutshell. Hope it's, uh, it's inspiring and helpful, and glad to share it with you. Because of space, I mean, you've got that nice big double garage there. So you've done a good job fitting it in the corner because you can still fit both cars in despite having the wall there. So, um, well done on using space. Next, we've got angles. I mean, you've got that nice steep angle there. You've also got the tread wall, which didn't really show as much in the video, but so I'll take that into consideration as well. So I think space will give you a two. We'll give you one for the angles because you have only got the one angle on the overhang wall. However, you do have the tread wall as well. I mean, I don't know if that can change angle. I've not seen someone uh, YouTube that can. So I mean, if there's a bit more info on that, it could potentially be upgraded to a two. Um, aesthetically, I like the look of it. I like the paint job you've got. I like the huge variety of holes on there. Obviously, you've listed a few of the, the brands you've got, which is great. So I think we'll probably go two for, for the look of it as well. Next up we've got trim, which obviously you've shown me at the side, you've got the hangboard there, you've got the rings, you've got a clock on the wall at the time, which I do like that, it's quite unique. Um, so yeah, trainer wise, easier too. Unique features, you only want to have a tread wall in there. Um, and the wall itself, I mean that's it. I do like the angle, it's got a nice kickboard at the bottom, so I'm gonna give you a, a one for unique features. Great score of it there, Tom, thanks for sending that in mate, thank you. As you've said, hopefully the video you've sent does inspire others to try and copy or build one just like your wall. Okay, so the fourth and final wall we're going to look at in today's video was sent in by a lady called Samira. Now, the video did have audio on it, but it 
didn't quite come through, I could hardly hear it, but I did get some uh, information from uh, what somebody was saying in the video, which I'll try and translate um, as we're watching it as well. And obviously we'll rate it as we have done with the, the other three walls, hopefully give you guys some inspiration. Okay, so we've got a nice 8x12 wall, according to Samira's dimensions. Uh, we've got three sheets of plywood panel. Uh, from the side, it's got 32 degree overhang. Nice angle for strain. I also like the bit to the, uh, the left hand side as well. So it's not all overhanging. Looks like obviously outdoor wall, so it's braving the elements and doing a good job by the looks of it. We've got a lot of snow on the ground. Uh, so we've got held in place by four posts, just cemented into the ground, so nice and secure, won't get much movement of there. If it was someone like me climbing on it, heavier they are. Because I know Samira did say she built this wall uh, for a kid being beginner climbers. But she's got Majority of the holes have come second hand from the, uh, the local climber wall that she uses, so great recycle on there, I like that idea. Love the artwork on the wall, got what looks like a wave there, so do like that, nice and creative. In terms of hole types, we've got, got some nice pinches there, some jugs, some pockets. We've got some nice crash pads down below, nice and safe. Uh, so maybe actually advises that they were Third or second hand, and actually one of them is a four mattress, uh, which is sort of uh, put like a layer on to protect it from the elements. Grand idea. And that is the end of the tour. So start marking up with ten. Okay, so space. I mean, space isn't really an issue. I mean, it looks like it's out in the garden, uh, but obviously you can't fill the garden with climb more unfortunately, as nice as it would be. So it's a really good size, nice height on it as well. So I think uh, space, I think we'll give it a, a two there, definitely. Uh, unique features. Uh, I do like the fact that it's outside. It's unique. Um, so it gives you that bit more space, as mentioned. And uh, we've also got the slight wall to the, the left, which gives you two different angles on there. Um, so I think that's going to definitely score a two. In terms of aesthetic, I say the maximum we can score is a two, but I mean that, that artwork on there would, is really on the grade of high if the option was there. Okay. In terms of trim, I mean we've got the wall which you can do circuits on, so it's definitely going to score a one there. Uh, we don't have any sort of hang boards or other features which you can use to train on. Uh, so I can't go with full max, but yeah, it definitely gets a one. A unique feature, I just love the artwork on there, so definitely going to score a, a solid one for that. So of the points we've scored there, we'll just tally them up, so I'm going to go for another 8 there, so yeah, another high scoring wall. So again, thank you Samira for sending that in. Again, thank you Samira for submitting the wall, I'm sure you and the family will have some good fun training on that. So we'll call that a wrap on today's video guys, thank you for watching, um, it's been a pleasure looking at all of your home walls that you've sent in. I'll probably make another video like this in the future, so do let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.